Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnesswinner.com and today I'm going to lead you through a nice relaxing stretching workout. This is going to be a combination of basic stretches, a little bit of Pilates, some yoga. You're going to find a little bit of everything in this and it's meant to just leave you nice and relaxed. So it's a good recovery day workout or if you've had a nice uh, grueling day at work, this is a good way to shake off all of that stress. All you're going to need is an exercise mat, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with a really quick, really light warm up. So just go ahead and rock back and forth, swing those arms back and forth a little bit. Make sure that one is going over the top of the other, that you're alternating which arm is on top each time. Uh, it feels a lot better to stretch out after you have done some kind of warm up. If you try to stretch out before you warm up, you're going to feel stiff and you're more likely to pull something. So we're going to do just a little bit of activity here just to get the blood flowing. All right? Now let's do a basic boxer shuffle, just nice and light. You don't even have to leave the floor if you don't want to. You can just kind of lift your heels up off the ground, get your arms moving. Just make sure that you're starting to move a little bit. Keep your breathing nice and steady still. Nice deep breaths. I won't make you sweat, I promise. This is going to be nice and easy. We're just warming up just a little bit. All right, now plant your feet and I want you to Go all the way down to the toes on one side, cross over to the toes on the other, and come back up. And then repeat, going the opposite direction. So you should feel this in the backs of your thighs. It should feel nice in your back, um, your torso. As you go down, you should feel a pull in the opposite side. Not a painful one, but you should feel a stretch right here. It should feel nice. It should feel good. All of these stretches, none of them should be painful. You never want to stretch to the point where you're feeling pain just a little bit where your body goes, okay, that's my range of motion. Push that just a little tiny bit, not till pain. And that's, that's how you want to stretch. All right, now come here. We're just going to do a nice slow torso rotation. Try to keep your hips locked forward so that all the movement is coming right through your midsection. Don't use jerky motions for this. All of this should be nice and smooth, controlled movements. Couple more. All right, we're gonna lean, go out into a warrior here. Lean forward just a little bit. Push as far as you can comfortably. Now tilt, rest this arm right here. Put that other arm straight up into the air. You should feel this all throughout your chest, through the side, through this hip, or this thigh here and also the inside thigh of that back leg. All right, now come down, lean forward, so you feel stretched through those hip flexors here. And come back up, we're doing a warrior on the opposite side. Pulse here for just a couple seconds. All right, now rotate forward. Same thing we did on the opposite side. And come down, lean forward over that front leg. All right, let's do the whole thing over again. On this other side, out here. Make sure you're breathing. Nice deep breaths. Tilt forward. Move as slow as you need to for these. Hold over that front leg. And come back up. Repeat this last one on the opposite side. Slowly tilt over. And Fold over the front leg. All right, step forward. I'm gonna do some overhead extensions. Reach just like a full body stretch like you do on the mat, but we're doing it standing up. So wiggle back and forth on each side a little bit, stretching out those sides. Now fold forward. 
So you feel a nice stretch all through your lower back and through the backs of your thighs. Only go as far as you can comfortably. Like I said, you never want to feel pain here. If you have to stop here, that's just fine. It's just next time, aim to go there. It's whatever your starting point is, you have to respect it. Listen to your body. All right, come back up. Back to that overhead stretch. Lean back and forth a little bit. And come back down. Reach for those toes. One more time. Back up over your head. And touch your toes. Slowly, we're going to do a walk down into a cobra and then back up. So nice and slow, walk your hands down until it is a high plank. And as you get level, sink your hips down, lower yourself, straighten out your feet. Press up here for just a breath or two. Alright, come back down, press back into a child's pose. Nice and slow. Press down until you feel a nice stretch through your shoulders and your chest. And come back to a high plank. And we're gonna walk back up, come back to your tiptoes. We're gonna walk back up standing. And we'll do the whole thing over again. Come back here, we'll roll our shoulders a couple times. Backward, forward. Back, forward, and now walk it back down. Nice and slow. We're not in any hurry here. All right, lower yourself to the ground. Press up into your cobra. Slowly push back into that child's pose. Right. Move back forward on your mat. Come up into your tiptoes. Walk it back up. I'm doing a couple shoulder rolls here. Strain yourself back out. Going back. And then forward. Nice and slow, really making those circles as big as you can. So you're really pushing and working that range of motion. Get rid of all the stress you've been carrying around in your shoulders. Let it go. All right, walk down one more time for the sequence. Slowly come back down. Flatten out your feet and press up into your last cobra. A couple deep breaths. Alright, press back into your child's pose. Stay here for just a couple seconds. Enjoy this stretch. And push back forward. Gonna walk it back up. Okay, now we're gonna step forward here, just as far forward as you can, until you're leaning leaning into it a little bit, so you feel this hip flexor stretch on this um, on the leg that is behind you. Pull your other arm across. And you should feel this on your on the outside of your arm here. I'm gonna hold this for about ten seconds. Come back up. We'll do it on the opposite side of the body. Alright, now 
Now rotate so you have a very wide stance. We're going to go back down to our toes, but because our stance is so wide, it's going to feel a little different than those other toe chest stretches. Grab your hands behind your back and lean forward. Let your arms go forward as far as you can. And then just move around in this, in this position. I know it's weird and it's awkward, but it should feel great on your lower back, your shoulders, and your thighs, the backs of your thighs, those hamstrings. All right, I'm gonna sink over to one side. Put your hands down, slowly sink. Keep this leg straight so you feel a stretch all along that inside thigh. Now we're gonna switch sides, nice and smooth. Rock it on over to the other side. Keep that leg straight. Bring your feet back together and walk out into a downward dog. So walk your hands out. Try to keep your heels flat. If you can't, that's okay. And focus on trying to press your head down in between those shoulders. Don't force it. If, if something feels too stiff, like I said, respect those signals and don't push through anything that hurts. Now we're just going to do we're going to start lifting up our heels a little bit, like we're walking, so you feel a more intense stretch in that straightened leg than you do the one that's coming up off the mat. Nice and slow. Just feel this in your calves as well. Alright, now pick one leg. We're stepping forward, folding that leg under our body. Leave that other leg straight out flat. Set up straight at first so you feel the stretch also all through your core, all through the front of this thigh and the hip flexor, as well as the back of the thigh of the, thigh, the leg that is folded under your body. So stay here for just a second. Now come forward. So this makes the stretch even deeper on the leg that is folded underneath your body. If you have to, you can stop here. Just stop wherever you need to in order to feel the stretch. Alright, slowly come back up. And if you can, bend the knee and pull this leg up towards yourself. If you can't pull your leg up, just stay here in that basic pigeon pose. Alright, slowly release that leg back down to the mat. Straighten back out and fold the opposite leg under your body. And stay up nice and tall right here for just a second. Take a couple of deep breaths. Fold forward. All right, now come back up. Bring that opposite toe up to your hand. Let that release. Okay, we're going to go into a basic uh, butterfly stretch here. So put your feet together, kick your, those knees out. And first, pull them as close to yourself as you can and press your chest out. So you feel a nice stretch not only along the insides of those thighs, but also through your chest. Kick them out a little bit further. We're going to lean forward. So now we're also stretching our lower back as well as our hip socket. Those muscles of the hips. Okay, 
Now pull one leg in closer to you and extend that opposite leg. And we're going to lean down towards those toes. So no bouncing in order to be able to stretch further. You want to move nice and slow. And just pull down as far as you can without any pain. Slowly come back up, and we're going to lean over this opposite side, keep it tucked in, and we're leaning away from that leg, the straightened leg. Come back up, we're going to fold this leg back in this time, extend the opposite leg, and reach towards those toes. Switch sides, keep this leg folded, lean over it. All right, come back up, stay in the same position, take one foot and put it over the thigh of the other one, plant it on the ground there, take your hand and then rotate as far away from it as you can. Slowly let that relax. Come down in the center really quickly. Reach for your toes. All right, now take that opposite leg, plant it on the outside, plant that foot on the outside of the other thigh, and use your arm if you need to to push yourself further away so you get a nice torso stretch out of this. Straighten both legs now, get comfortable on your mat, lay flat out on your back, All right, now extend one leg up, then the other, and we're going to do uh, leg drops, so pull one down, and then back up, down, actually this is more like a slowed down flutter kick. So really try to keep this leg as straight as you can. If you have to bend it, that's totally fine. Um, it takes some flexibility in order to keep it straight through the entire range of motion. Just do the best that you can. Flexibility can be frustrating because it takes a while to improve, but it will. So no matter what your starting place is, just know that if you stick with it, it will get better, it will get easier, and you won't feel so stiff all the time. Keep these going. All right, now bend at the knees. I'm just going to slowly rock. Try to put your back in a neutral position and slowly rock back and forth. You can do miniature circles if you want to, kind of rotate back and forth. This is a good place if your back is feeling out of whack, you might find that it starts to pop and it's going to probably feel good. So as you get more comfortable, start to add more shape to those circles. So start to make them a little bit wider, a little more formed. And so you're actually starting to engage your abs a little bit as you come down here where you have to support the weight of your legs. Just keep it going. All right, now bring them in towards your chest. Give yourself a big knee hug. All right, 
straighten the back out. Feet on the ground. Now I want you to extend your arms out, straight out from that shoulder joint. Now reach upwards as if you're trying to reach for something at the ceiling. Now completely relax. Press those shoulder blades back down to the mat. Deep breaths while you're doing this. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale as you relax back down. One more time. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with an imprint, so feet still flat on the ground. I want you to inhale and really exaggerate the um, arcing of your back, the arching of your back, and then exhale as you press your, the flat of your back flat out on the ground, as flat as you can. So you're tilting your pelvis here, so you're going up, you're reaching up towards the ceiling, and then as you exhale, bring your rib cage and your hip bones closer together by pressing your uh, back flat on that mat. Just a couple more. Take your time with these. Do one more. These feel good. And exhale. Alright, next up we're going to flip over, go back to all fours. We're going to do bird dogs. So try to keep your back flat here. We're going to be raising an opposite um, hand and foot. So come up nice and smooth and not hyperextending anything, just come up so that you're trying to get level with your back. Slowly waist, lower those hands and legs. Repeat on the opposite side. So stretching is never a waste of your time because stretching is what allows you to keep up with, um, you know, those high intensity interval workouts, um, strength training, all of the things that you really love to do, stre uh, stretching is one of the ways you can make sure that you can keep doing them. It lessens your likelihood of injury. Just it's, it's, don't think it's a waste of your time, whatever you do. And things like this. This is good for your back, um, creating a strong core so that you can keep up with those really hard workouts so you can do burpees and not worry about throwing your back out. Plus there's a toning benefit to all of these as well. You're probably feeling by now that your, your core is engaged, your glutes are working, your shoulders are working. So it's nice and easy, but there's, it's not without benefit. All right, this is our last one here. I'm gonna go into cat to cow, so same position. I want you to come up as, as much exaggerated as you can, really round your back, and then slowly press back the opposite direction. So you're looking up and you're sticking your butt out. It's a little bit obnoxious, but it's really good for your back. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you press back out. Just a couple more of these. All right, we're 
we're going to go back flat out on our backs again. We're going to do a deep glute stretch. So take one leg, keep it relatively straight, fold the other leg on the top, and then grab behind this thigh in order to pull that foot closer to you. So you should feel this in the hamstrings of the leg that is bent. Hold it here, walk back and forth if you need to, to really feel that stretch where you feel like you need it most. Alright, switch sides, fold the opposite leg over, pull it in towards yourself. Stretch out all the way out. And again, we're going to inch back and forth, side by side, as if you're trying to walk your toes away from your fingertips here. So feel the stretch through your entire body. Just a couple more seconds here. and loose and relaxed now. I want you to go eat some healthy food and drink a bunch of water, get some rest, and I will see you for another workout tomorrow. Good job guys, this workout is complete.